Welcome to the warm-up exercise for the Why My podcast called The Fantasy Restaurant. In here, my guests get to pick their favorite drink, appetizer, main side, and dessert. Quite literally, anything goes. While Jeff may have been prepared, now you can never be fully prepared for the full force of the fantasy. <laughs> he actually puts together a pretty decent meal, though he does have a worrying Brussels sprout obsession. Oof, might even want to look into that. At any rate, I hope you enjoy this meal with Jeff. All right, Jeff, thank you for joining me in the Fantasy Restaurant today. My pleasure. Looking forward to it. Excellent. As you should. As you should. <laughs> so I am Greg. I am your waiter here in the uh, Fantasy Restaurant. And let me give you a little rundown just in case you're not too familiar. It basically consists of any food item you can imagine. So this could be something from your childhood that your mom made, your grandma made. This could be something you make today. This could be from your favorite restaurant. This could be from your favorite movie or fantasy novel. And none of this has to make any sense. There doesn't have to be a theme unless you want there to be a theme. Uh, so I'm going to start you at the start, man. What are you, uh, you going to have to drink? Uh, for, for my drink, this is an easy one. Um, I'm a margarita person. Um, doesn't matter where I'm at. Uh, my, my, my drink of choice when I'm out and about is a margarita, uh, frozen with salt. Um, nothing fancy, no watermelon or raspberry, just the traditional, um, if I had to choose from where the margarita is from, it would be from my favorite taco shop. Los Taquitos here in Phoenix, Arizona. They make the the best margarita, in my opinion. What makes it the best? Like, how, like, how is it different? That's a good question. Um, just the the flavor profile. Um, I and I'm weird. I don't like fresh margaritas. Like, I don't like the fresh lemon and or fresh lime and you know homemade. I'm I'm sure they use some kind of mix. Um, it's not too tart. It's not too sour. Um, the price is pretty good when you go there on happy hour and just the atmosphere. Um, so I think it's, it's, it's a lot of that, but, um, yeah. Gotcha. Is, is part of it the, uh, the atmosphere? Does it make you feel in the mood? It, it does. I, I, I don't eat there, um, eat at the restaurant that often. I usually get something to go, but I'll purposely not order ahead of time so I can wait for them to make it so I can. I have a margarita while I wait and it's, it's a little bit of a hole in the wall. Um, they were on, uh, what's the, um, guy, 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 Fieri's. diners, drive-ins and dives. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's that kind of place. Um, you know, it's a place that you, you know, order at the counter and, you know, specialize in tacos, um, which isn't my, I mean, my entree, but uh, be my second choice. Um, but yeah, the atmosphere and it's, yeah, it's just really cool. All right. So we've got a margarita from Los Taquitos on the Los way. Taquitos. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be coming with uh, salt frozen. Is there a difference between a frozen margarita and other? Uh, well, I mean, I guess on the rocks and the reason I, uh -huh. this is, this is kind of funny. The reason I always get frozen is I feel like I'm getting more because it's basically taking a, taking a, a margarita on the rocks and put it, putting it into a blender and then blending everything together. But yeah. you know, when you finish a margarita on the rocks, you still have that, you know, glass of ice. And I just feel like I'm getting more by <laughs> like, getting the ice crushed up. It's like an adult slushy, right? Exactly. Exactly. Right. I could dig that. All right. Well, we got your uh, your drink sorted. So now let's move on to possibly the more adventurous side. I, you're an adventurous guy. I know that. Whether you believe that to be true or not, uh, I'm going to say the appetizer portion. What are you going to have as an appetizer? So my wife and I are on this kind of kick where if we go someplace and they have Brussels sprouts on the menu, we'll get Brussels sprouts. Um, so that'll be my appetizer of choice. And we are trying to find the best, best Brussels sprout appetizer in the Valley right now. Um, we've had some really good ones and some really bad ones. Um, right now, my favorite is from a place called Sosaba Noodle, which is a ramen place, but they have this amazing flash fried Brussels sprout uh, appetizer as like a maple syrup uh, hot sauce on it um we get it without bacon because she's vegetarian most have bacon i don't know there's just something about bacon and brussels sprouts 
um, but we have to get it uh, sound speaking. Um, yeah, so I would say Brussels sprouts, but yeah, uh, yeah. I'm so so noodles. And you said it comes with a uh, maple sauce. Is that spicy? It's like a it's like a maple sauce that they in like a like a like a sriracha, you know, maple uh, uh, maple syrup type of thing. So it's spicy and and, and sweet. Um, it has just a yeah a really interesting flavor profile. I like it. And, and you the, say they flash fry them. Is that like battered and fried, or they're just dropping a bra in there? Yeah, yeah, they're just yeah, they're still pretty much raw. Um, I think they're cooked ahead of time. Don't ask me. Um, I I haven't got the recipe, but the way they're able to cook them, they're nice and chewy. Like I've been to places where they've overcooked the Brussels. I don't be, I don't know if you're a Brussels sprout guy or not, but if you eat a overcooked Brussels sprout, it's the worst. It's so hard to eat. It's really chewy and hard. So they're able to cook it just right, so it's nice and soft. Is the, is the Brussels sprout one of those things where there's like this? this perfect zone where not enough is bad and too much is bad. You got to really got it right there in the middle. <laughs> yeah. For a number of reasons, <laughs> I think too much, um, you know, it wreaks havoc on some folks, uh, digestive systems oh. it that way. <laughs> okay. Mine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a nice compliment to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a meal. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, now we've hit our interstitial period, kind of that lull uh, where, you know, you're done with your appetizer, but you're still waiting on your main. Some places really drag that out, I've noticed. Anyway, I digress. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, in recent memory, that's happened to me. But I like to call this part the uh, bread slash salad slash soup portion. Do you want some of that, any of that, all of that? What does that look like? Uh, normally, I wouldn't. I would say, you know, when we go out, it's it's you know an appetizer and then straight to the to the entree. But um, because you're giving me this option and I'm kind of bending the rules a bit, this might be considered uh, the main portion. But it's defined as a, a soup. I think it would be something called um, cow soy, uh, which is a uh, high similar to like ramen soup it's a it's a thai soup uh spicy uh we had it when we visited thailand about five years ago and i fell in love with it and it's not a very common dish so it's hard to find i found one place in phoenix that serves it and it didn't compare to anything i had in thailand mm -hmm. um but it has noodles and it's spicy comes with chicken if you want um uh bean sprouts um, it's just so hot that it makes your nose run. And so, uh, which I love spice. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm going with the, the cow soy. When you say you love spice, do you love the sensation of your mouth on fire or you just like foods that are spicy in nature? Like, like what do we think? Cause, cause sometimes that could be punishing. I'm just curious. Are you that kind of guy? No, I, I, it, I like things that are hot, but I need to taste them. Like I've had things that are just so hot that you put it in your mouth and you're, you're numb. Yeah. That doesn't do it for me, but, um, I like something that gives me a little bit of a sweat. Uh, so in, and it's, it's funny. My, my mom and I used to have this, this, uh, this hot sauce eating contest when I was, when I was younger, she likes spice as well, but it's interesting what she found hot. I found mild and vice versa. So we had different taste buds. <laughs> um, and so we still do it to this day. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it, it's, it's a delicate balance and there's stuff out there, um, that just, yeah. Why bother? You can't taste anything afterwards. Gotcha. So you're saying, uh, whatever you recommend something is, oh, that's not too spicy. It, sh it probably should approach with caution. Is that what you're, is that what you're yes, yeah. I, okay. I get a lot of grief from, from friends. I, I, um, yeah, recently I uh, uh, I, I, well, I was I went out of town with a bunch of friends, and I was responsible for for breakfast one morning, and and I I make breakfast burritos. That's my that's my thing, and I always go to the the local Mercado here, Food City, which is a Mexican uh, grocery store. And they have this this hot sauce that I find wasn't. And I've brought it, <laughs> and pretty much everybody besides me said, "Don't ever do that to me again, Jeff." Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, my my definition of hot and and others might be a little might be a little different. Gotcha. Exercise caution around this guy. All right, 
Well, we've got our uh, our uh, kind of in between out of the way. Now it's time for the main dish, the main course, the main event. What's that look like? Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the uh, with the um, uh, you know what uh, I had as a kid. Um, this one was easy for me to pick. Um, as folks my age, you know, are you know similar to to me, I. You know, a Gen Xer, I grew up in a single household. My mom was working two jobs and going to school. And so, like, meals were um, special, but um, pretty quick. You know, she had to, you know, whip it up in time before she went after her second job. And, um, but we always had the same thing every week. Um, Mondays was uh, fried clam night, which uh, was actually just a box of frozen clams that you threw in the, you know, oven but they call them fried um wednesdays <laughs> though were, were our taco uh, salad night um and that's i always look forward to that so I'm, I'm choosing taco salad with my mom's taco salad which was uh uh so the the recipe it's real simple it's a, a bag of, of fritos um and a head of iceberg lettuce cut you know cut that up shred it uh ground beef with taco seasoning mix that all together then you add uh, red onions olives and uh western style dressing which i don't even know if they make that anymore it's like a french dressing it's like a tangy hmm. a tangy dressing um it was called western for some reason and then you mix it again and then you add the, the shredded you know cheddar you know the cheap bag of cheddar cheese and uh yeah, and that was that was I just loved that, and I would devour it. Um, so yeah, I love it, love it. Have you had anything uh, since that was close to it? Uh, I've tried to make it a couple of times myself, um, and then like going out, like you know, taco salads are kind of a you know a common thing in some restaurants, and it comes in that big, you know, tortilla bowl, you know, and and um, but yeah, not in comparison to nothing compares to that i don't even know if it was you know flavor wise it might and i was very picky as a kid like when i was like one thing that didn't have was tomatoes even though tomatoes you'd find out on a taco um i hated tomatoes as a kid even mm -hmm. though I, I loved ketchup so i no no tomatoes um so i think it was just the, the, the you know that's the that's the one day i look forward to uh, each week uh dinner time wise um but no and even what I made is doesn't compare to it. She's made it for me uh, since, you know, as I'm as an adult, she'll she'll cook it for me every once in a while and or make it for me. And uh, it's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. All right. Well, what kind of sides do you have with uh, Wednesday's taco salad? Oh, geez. Um, I didn't give any thought to this. Um, uh, I love French fries. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if this is appropriate or not. Um, but I, I love, uh, I love French fries. Um, so I will say since I'm, I'm make I'm, I'm uh, French fries from in and out burger animal style. Well done. Um, <laughs> in and out <laughs> animal. What is, what does animal style denote for, uh, for French fries? What, uh, they put on this, um, uh, like a thousand island dressing slash, cheese concoction that just lays on top of it um and then i asked them to, to cook it a little longer i like my my french fries crispy although when you put it when you put the sauce on it makes it kind of mushy but um but yeah that's uh you have to eat them with a fork too because they're too messy all right good i was just curious which <laughs> camp you were in like yeah. i have to believe it or not ever since COVID, like i like my hands to be pristine like even if they're clean and i eat and they get gross it's like i'm going to wash them like i don't know it's locked into my brain now and so just the idea of eating these disgusting french fries that obviously <laughs> taste good obviously taste good they're just yeah. they're disgusting when they get on your hands all right so yeah yeah, yeah. the germaphobe in me is coming out John. <laughs> all right good deal i'm on board with that all right well this is an interesting meal i'm glad you went a little off script there because uh the French fries, French fries, bring it home for me. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I like a good fry. In and out fries are those kind of thin? They, they like yeah, okay. yeah. They're they're thinner. That's yeah, yeah. I don't like the big, you know, uh, home style fries. You know, the, the crunchier the better. You know, uh, burn them. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I, just, I like the crunch. Um, that's yeah. 
and it's very solid. Like, and I'm a salt addict. Like it has to have a lot of salt on it. Yeah. I'm, I told my daughter to see, you know, <laughs> for sure. I mean, the, like a good salty French fry with like a, a ketchup or something like that salty sweet combo, man, it's so good. It, yeah. Yeah. Can't hardly beat it. All right. Well, yeah, we have reached the, uh, crescendo of the meal, perhaps the dessert portion. What are you, uh, what are you going to get to, uh, finish it off with? This is easy, but I, I do want to put you on the spot a bit because so, like I mentioned, I did listen to your last fantasy restaurants and you preface this question by saying this was a make or break question. And I didn't, I don't know if that's a common thing or why you said that. <laughs> and I don't think you explained it. I'm, well, I'm not asking. we're already, we're already friends. So oh. <laughs> uh, if, so, if somebody picks the wrong thing, it may, it may fracture that relationship. So is it a particular uh, dessert or a type of like, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, it's not gonna be, I already know what I'm picking, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, okay. Well, if you say, give me a cheese plate, you're going to go down a, 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 <laughs> just a wrong in my estimation. No, no, no. I Here. truly, um, I can pretty much get down with anything. I am okay. good with it. I've had somebody, uh, for pretty much every portion of their meal, they picked French fries, even the dessert. And I was like, you know what? I'm on board. <laughs> yeah, I'm here for it. Let's try it. In, interesting. I will. I will share. So, I, um, I'll I'll share this little tidbit about that. Um, just for shits and giggles. Am I allowed to say say the S Absolutely. Word? You say whatever okay. you want, brother. <laughs> uh, we had. A, I had a friend. My my um, my mom had a friend named Lulu. She was very interesting. She had a tattoo on her tooth. Um, that you had to, she had on the back of her tooth yet she had to open up her mouth and show you the tattoo so she was just a, a weird person but <laughs> we would go to this ice cream uh, parlor called Farrell's in Tucson where I grew up and she would order french fries and hot fudge and she would dip the french fries into the hot fudge um, yeah it was so that's not my my dessert of choice is this is easy key lime pie like I I uh, I am just a fanatic. Um, I, uh, yeah, I just love Eli Pie. You know, I am, I am on board, but it is, I don't get Key Lime Pie anymore. I, I never order it because I have been disappointed by so many mediocre Key Lime Pies. Or are you the kind yeah. of person where it doesn't matter, man? You're just, you're just going to enjoy it no matter what. No, it, it matters. Um, I've had, <laughs> I've had many, disappointing key lime pies i'll still eat them <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it never stopped me either yeah yeah um but but yeah and and just like with margaritas i i like the i i do like like tangy like the the tangier the better um it, it, no whipped cream it's just kind of you know mm. that ruins it for me um but yeah and i would i would venture to say i probably had more mediocre key lime pies than than good ones it doesn't doesn't deter me, um, and I'm I'm on this you know this this uh, this goal of finding the the best. I don't I don't know if I've my wife. Um, we went to visit her her parents for their fiftieth wedding anniversary, and um, her sister it was at her sister's house in Michigan, and her sister baked when you bake key lime pies or whatever she made six or seven different key lime pies just for me for the party but um you know she used me as the as the excuse um so <laughs> yeah so that's that's my reputation um they were all good they were all great that's all, yeah, i like how you caveat you good clothes good clothes <laughs> good save right there at the end no for me like um key lime pie i like them more sour than sweet and it's generally yeah. they are so off the chart sweet and it's just ah, i can't take it yeah have you ever made one i have never attempted to make one I, I think I've tried once and it was a utter failure and it's hard too. It wasn't easy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, buying it or, or going someplace that specializes in it. But yeah. Yeah. Che oh. Yeah. Cheese, cheese plate. I would never get a cheese plate for dessert. That's weird. I mean, so people are super into savory and yeah. I'm not going to knock them. I'm just, you know, I'm not going to ever talk to him again. So it's, you know, it's so fine. <laughs> you can, you can like, no, <laughs> I would genuinely not be mad at anybody. All right. Let me, uh, let me read your order back. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. So we're going to start out, uh, with a frozen margarita from Los Taquitos. What kind of, what kind of vessel does that come in? Is it like the big beer stein sort of style or is it the traditional margarita class? No, it's, it's 
It's actually like a whiskey glass. It's a, just a small, oh. like a, yeah, it, nothing fancy at all. Um, yeah, which fits the fits the restaurant. It's no frills, so, but I, which I like because I, I hate drinking out of margarita glasses because I'm always afraid I'm going to top, top, you know, top, top it over or something. I'm just, I'm clumsy. So I like the fact that it's a nice space and it's there. Yeah, I had somebody tell me about a restaurant they went to that uh, got served a margarita in a hubcap. I was thinking... That's unconventional. I mean, yeah, okay. We used to go to this place. Used to go to this place. My wife was a, a, a it was a terrible Mexican restaurant, but <laughs> they, yeah, but um, it was called Macayos, and they had this deal where um, you could buy what they call the lady head, which was uh, a woman wearing a big sombrero, and the sombrero was where they poured the margaritas in, and so you would <laughs> buy this souvenir uh, uh, cup. Then when you bring it back, you can fill it up for five dollars. So um, that's why we went to Macaios because we can get a five dollar margarita, <laughs> a giant one. But you have to drink it out of this out of this lady head. That's bizarre. Hey man, anything for a deal. I'm, <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. I get it. I, I was I was there one day as well. Uh, let's see. Next, we're gonna have uh, for our appetizer. We're gonna do Brussels sprouts from Sosa Bon. Is that what it was? Sosa Sosa Bon noodles. All right, Sosa Bon noodles. And those boys are flash fried with the spicy maple sauce. Is this is the maple sauce spicy enough for you? Do you want us to have varying gradations of spiciness in front it's, of you so you can try it out? Uh, th- this is good. This is good. Yeah, I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, you, 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 you do a good job. I need to mess with perfection. You got it. All right. Uh, then we're going to do um, cow soy Thai soup. Is that right? I guess so. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a Thai. Yeah, I call it a soup. It has a broth, so I'm, okay. I'm calling it a soup. All right. Are you are you doing uh, chicken with that, or are you just going noodles? I'll do chicken. Yeah. All right. All right. That sounds good. Uh, next, we're gonna do uh, Wednesday's taco salad. Just uh, just the way mom still makes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Extra 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 Western sauce, right? <laughs> then we'll do French fries in and out, animal style. Well done. All right. Good. All right. You're shaking. You're nodding your head over there. And you're nodding your head on the audio medium. Okay. There we are. All right. Uh, yes, we're gonna... absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're going to close it out with uh, a key lime pie. A little bit the kind where you take a bite and you kind of feel it right there in the back of your jaw, right? Kind yep. of get that little twinge. That's where it's at for me. What kind of crust? Yep. Are we talking like a graham cracker crust on that? Graham, graham crack. Yes, graham mm-hmm. cracker crust. I, I'll say I will go all the way to the edge and then just save the the crust for the end and i probably will i probably will use my fingers for that sorry um i like picking up the crust it's like that no excellent excellent that sounds like a terrific meal are you 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 good with the order sounds good i'm great with it yeah excellent well thank you for joining me in the restaurant today awesome thanks for having me (laughs) 